Alright. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. Today we are going to be doing the, uh... We're actually, we're going to be doing, uh, several quests. And the first one we're going to tackle is, uh... Turn and face the strange. This is the uh, quest where you basically get your uh, mut mutagens up mutations upgrade. But we are not gonna finish it in this episode. Um, there's actually several quests within this proximity, within this area. So I'm just gonna do those quests within this area instead of just focusing solely on the one quest. I will be doing it. Uh, Probably in the either the next episode or the episode after that. I'll complete that. But this is my uh, other save. It's uh, This is the save where I actually do my recordings on. In my personal playthroughs, I've already done it. And there's a lot of quests I want to record. Especially that quest where you want to help uh, that young knight when you first met, a, when you first met in uh, uh, Tucson battling that giant Goliath. That's going to be a very fun quest to do. But yeah, without... I think that's all I want to say for the introduction. So, let's get into it. And over here, actually... So, as you can see... I actually got hit with the glitch. With the cheese, as Chris Move would say. I got hit with the cheese. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I'm gonna put on the puppet. So, as you can see, I got the puppet, or I got the delusion and the puppet skill. Now, you would think they should work together at the same time, right? Well, apparently, there's been a bug in this game for the longest time where you can't actually use both skills at the same time. Um, I'll show you. I've actually recorded this quest already, and yeah. It, basically, I couldn't do the puppet skill with Delusion equipped. So, I will show you that in another clip now. Let's just uh, try it out. What is this? I can't... What? Yo, I'm trying to... It's not letting me take him as a puppet. What's going on? What? What's going on? What if I did this? I don't know what, why this is not. Wow, this this fucking hell, this thing is glitched. All right, all right, welcome back. But I've actually found a, I did some research on Google and on the um, forums and on Steam and other forums. There's actually a fix. Uh, for this glitch and I'm not gonna really explain it here but basically you go into your uh, you go into some folder open up notepad and you change some numbers around for a, I think I changed like three entries and basically that fixed the prop or fixed the bug so I'm gonna show you what it's what it's supposed to look like uh, when the skill actually works uh, together let me just put on, let me just make sure I got the right oil on. Alright, and I got the potions. Uh, so, Alright, we'll take that. We'll take this too. We'll take this, this. But most importantly, we need that tiny owl because I'm a sword build, so my stamina reach is going to be horribly slow. And actually, yeah, I don't have that. I don't have that skill either, so I can't really be using adrenaline. But here's how it's supposed to look. So, like, let's do. 
This is what it's supposed to look like. Right? Now this guy's attacking him. And this guy. He's, now he's slowed down. That's what it's supposed to look like. Right? But yeah. Alright, let's see if I can do it on him one more time. Look, he's actually slowed down. Look at that. That's that's how it's supposed to look like. Whereas I was just pressing I was holding Q before and didn't do anything. See, look, now he's slowed down. There we go. I'll let you let just murder this fool. But thank you for being my guinea pig. <laughs> thank you for being my guinea pig. But that's how it's supposed to look like. Alright. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get back to the quest. Where's the other guy? There he is. Oh, and there's actually a thing here. Somewhere. So this is actually the quest I was talking about. The, pro the proximity thing. Right. This quest will pop up when you loot this dead guy. And this is right here. So it so so I thought if that's gonna be here, I might as well do it. Because as you can see, okay, let me hold on a second before we go to that quest. Uh not that one. Turn and face strange, that's the one. Okay, so this quest, after we do what we're supposed to do here, actually leads me it's gonna lead me to somewhere else further away. This so here's this Professor Moro dude. Inscriptions in elder speech. Salvation lies not in Dolnevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Elderin. Alright, let's examine this bastard's grave. Damn. Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Interesting, wonder who found out. <laughs> I'm I'm talking be I'm talking like this because I already know what happens, but it's interesting because when I Professor well, you know what? I'm just not gonna spoil it. You'll find search. out in like the next two episodes. So I'm just gonna stop talking about that for now. Footprints, narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light, woman maybe. Wonder where they lead. Damn it! Trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm. Won't learn anything else here. Map Triss sent me'll have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. I think the grave robbers that um Geralt's talking about is actually the same uh robbers in the quest that just popped up. So I actually think the same grave robbers is the is these guys right or maybe not who knows anyways let's go look at Triss's uh, map and it on a, it, well it depends on who you romance so it could be Yennefer's map or I don't know who would send you this thing if um, you didn't room if you chose not to romance either so maybe Dandelion maybe Ciri's map I don't know Anyways, this map, okay, I can tell that's the Beauclair Palace, and this is, like, the city square. I don't know what the heck this is. Like, if you look at the real map, and I don't know, there's no X. It's, like, is he talking about here? Because, on, hold on a second. I like, wait, where is the X? I don't see it on here. So, if we go down to the map, right, that looks like, you know, according to that old map, I mean, we can totally tell that was... You know, this thing here was that thing on the shitty map, but I don't know where that other city was, like over here or something. Like, it definitely was not the same for sure. Like, if you look at it again, like, what the heck is this? I don't know what that is. Because this part I can tell. This part we saw from the map. I don't know what the heck this is. It could be further away. I don't know. So, that's just an interesting observation. Site marked on the map's all wet now. So a tour flows through there. Must be where the valley of the Nine once lay. Need to explore the location. Alright, so yeah, at this point, 
you're gonna have to go over here so i was like you know what might as well kill these grave robbers instead and then go there after because there's gonna be another quest that pops up while you're doing while you're murdering these grave robbers anyway so i'm just like you know what let me just uh deal with this first Put on the um, appropriate skills. Should I do glyphs? Nah. Well, you know what? Hold on. Exploding. If I wanted to play with these fools, magic trap just kills them and slows them down even further. Well, you know what? Honestly, this skill doesn't really do much for me, so forget it. Let me let me play with these fools for a bit. Keep calm. Start no bros. Keep calm. Start no bros. Actually, <laughs> I'm changing my man my mind so so much so much right now. Uh, I what was the quest again? No play no. Okay, this. Okay, this is the quest that's actually in the same location, so I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna talk to that quest giver first, and then go. Cause again, like I said, I played this part. This quest is gonna be in the same place, in the same cemetery, right across from this house. So I might as well talk to this guy first. What's this about? Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the Ducal Guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Ah! Hawk! Ooh! Fick! And then, whack! Thud! As if a mother bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. Do you know, Geralt? How much will I get for this? How much would you like? Oh, this fool's broke. Let's see if this guy can pay 60. Agreed. Alright. Uh, yeah. Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be, but doesn't need to though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, master. Alright, let's do it. Eat, drink, and be merry. Just shake the food. Ooh. Once a night's right. horse croaked on him. But he didn't back out. No, sir. He hired the ass. Desert and Can't hear anything, but might want to look around anyway. Ah, uh, this part of the quest, you just gotta kind of look Graves around. Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of boring, but eventually you're gonna have to wait and wait, wait for nighttime. Empty wine bottles, leftovers, big to do, not likely. But pretty much for this quest, you just walk around with your senses, with your Witcher senses open, and just look for the red, glowy, <laughs> stuff. I mean, that's pretty much it. All these doors are locked, so you can't really. Tracks. You can't, yeah. You just have to look around the cemetery. Trampled 
grass and <laughs> bloomers. Not the kind of moaning he meant, though. Oh, somebody was Lots getting it. tracks. Not much I can glean from them, though. Somebody was getting it on in the cemetery. Gotta come back after dark. What a bunch of freaks. Anyway, so this is just when you have to wait until nighttime. Oh shit! Oh, I thought Geralt was in. I thought Geralt was gonna die, <laughs> cause everybody knows. Everybody that plays a Witcher knows this dude dies from like a th literally a three meter fall. Come on now, you're supposed to be this badass monster slayer, and you die from fucking <laughs> a ten feet fall, man. That's 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 just a basketball hoop height, man. Are you serious? Alright, so let's go back to the other quest because I'm not gonna meditate. Let me see what time. Yeah, well, it's only an hour, so that means I can actually do this quest. And then while I do that quest, it's gonna become nighttime, and then I can just. Yeah, do it, do it that way. So that's, that's not really a problem, honestly. This is what, where we'll need to be for the. Um, uh, not this quest, but the one. What was it? This quest, tell death to you part, but I'm not gonna bother waiting for nighttime. This qu that quest is actually not very significant, so. But I'm just adding it in here because the first my first playthrough, my first recording, I didn't know about it, so. I was <laughs> I was making new moves left and right. And actually, speaking of new moves, because I did record it our this mission quest earlier, I lost <laughs> I made a new move and basically I lost my game audio in the middle of gameplay. So that's why I'm which was why I have to re re-record. Like, if I just lost my commentary audio, that's not really a problem. I can just, you know, talk over it during editing, but it's not like I can add in the audio for the actual gameplay. Um, I forgot what- oh yeah, I have to do with Hangman, because it's gonna be bandits and shit. And let's, might as well, put on the potions. So we're prepared, and it's gonna be pretty dark down there. Uh, most importantly, we need this. Oh my goodness. What's going on? Why? You cannot do that. Are you serious? What are you talking about? I have... Is this another glitch? What's going on? Oh, okay. I was like, is this a glitch again? Like, what happened? Okay, now I forgot what I have on. Ah, I don't know what the hell. This is a glitch of some sort. Let me drink that, uh... Um Enhance white honey. Let's see. Okay, I thought I thought for a second I was scared for a second because I thought my game fucking had another bug. And I'm just going through potions. You know, oh my goodness. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was like, ooh, this is gonna be bad again. All right. Uh, I think I'm good. All right, let's. Let's go in there with everything I need. Let's do it. I'm ready for these bandits. Let's go. What's up? What's up, noobs? Oh! What? What is going on? Alright, what's up? Go kill them for me, boys. Oh yeah, kill your friend. That's what I, that's what I like to see. Kill your friends, noobs. Let's toy with them some more. 
All right, let's run away for now. All right, let's let's get him. All right, kill your friends. Come on, back stab him. That's what I'm talking. About. Oh, he killed him. Oh. Oh, look at that cheese. Oh. Oh, what is that? Let's get this boy. You you work for me now. Yeah, let's go. You work for me now. Come on, kill that boy. Oh, I love it. I love it when these skills work together because now they're not going to fly towards me. Oh, he's dead. All right, enough. Enough of this crap. Let's just let Oh, damn. These guys These guys are These guys got mad cuz I toyed with them. All right, boys, over for you. Noises could be coming from grave robbers. I know for sure though. Need to wait till after dusk to confirm. Oh, that's hilarious. It's when Axie actually works properly, it is so fun to toy with these noobs. There's just a random cat here, like what's going on? Order from Robin? Who's Robin? Selena? What's that about? But you know what? That's kind of insignificant because at this point, that quest is over. That's it. Like, that's all it is. You just got to kill these four bandits and pretty much this quest is done. And let's just read it. But yeah, the good thing is you do get the uh, Toussaint Steel Sword diagram, which is a really good steel weapon um, because... It's a very high level sword. So I'll just show you guys right now. Oh, for level 49. The one I got earlier was level 48, I think. Interesting. So maybe they changed it. Because I am playing on the update 1.30. Which they just updated yesterday. So maybe they changed that. But I didn't read, I didn't read about that in the... Um, what do you call it? The uh, development guide or whatever. Or the release. I didn't read about them. Or maybe I just missed it. Who knows? But yeah. So pretty much you're going to want to loot everything. And... Oh, what's going on? Oh. Oh. But yeah. Um, pretty much the rest of this cemetery I just loot. Um... But there is one part that's kind of interesting, and I kill some grave robbers. So that's kind of interesting. So maybe I'm just going to skip forward to that. Okay, so this is the interesting part. We're going to murder some fools today. This is interesting. Now, now this is where we find these grave robbers. Better die to drink than... What? Better die of... Anyways... These fools are gonna get butchered. I'm not even gonna play with them. I'm not even gonna try Axie and play with them. I'm just gonna butcher them. Alright, let's go. Sup, fools? They should have just forget the cutscene and let me Come butcher to visit them. Your grandpa's grave, I guess. What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, we're the plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat. Then I mean, what's the ass. point of this cutscene, anyways? I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Look at that. Easy money right here. Easy money. Look at that. I mean, was that cutscene really necessary? O to Gwent. Are you serious? This is just some poems. And why was it glowing red? Like, is that supposed to be some kind of quest or something? Like, I don't think so. Right, it's just a 
it's just a random book. It's not. It's not used for quests or anything. Like I don't. I, you know. I, I don't know what the point of that was, or unless I missed something. I don't think so. Let's get out of here. Okay, so you see now I know I know to mark mark the gates that I've been through. That's where I came from, so I'm gonna go in here now. Master repair kit. Oh, skeleton. Before we go in here, let me go down to the staircase. Now people don't some you know, sometimes people don't bother with ash or like rotten flesh. Um, and I'm just like, you know what? You can still sell them to merchants for one crown. Well, I mean, one crown is still one crown. I mean, that's <laughs> that's the Asian, that's the Asian of inside of me speaking. But you know, or that's the Chinese. I don't know. Call it what you want. Mutagen trans translator. Another yellow die. I want that red die for that sexy ass bear armor. Did I miss something? No, I didn't. What is in here? Oh, wow, that was confusing. So this, but this is where we came from. Oh, I didn't realize there was a door here. Oh, interesting. Okay, anyways, let's go in here. Any loots? Geralt, <laughs> Geralt's like Laura Croft sometimes. All he does is loot treasure. I mean, this Ow. man is not a witcher. This man is a grave robber. <laughs> He's a treasure hunter. I mean, look at this. All these swords. Oh, I forgot to put these away, but... I mean, look at all these gold. Gold casket, silver amber ring, gold ruby ring. Are you kidding me? You can't tell me Gero's not a treasure hunter. Like, what is that? Where is this? Oh, that's to the outside again. Okay. Damn it. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. Oh, well, what do you know? That, I guess that, um, that quest triggered. What is this? Oh, that might be that painting quest, but, okay. Anyways. That's actually kind of cool because now I don't have to go back to the surface and check it out. I can just directly go to, to where I need to go. Oh wow, that was kind of... That screen was kind of eerie. So now that I've looted any, everything, let me do a save real quick. So, noise is coming from here. Before I open this door, let me see if I can hear any more screams. Nope. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. You know what that means. Ghosts! Spooks, mm. spooks! Gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. Pretty fresh. You know, it wasn't too long ago. Louis de Corentin died on the day of Saint Zoethan's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Here lies Margot de Corentin. Smashed as if someone threw it against the wall. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. 
Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. Gonna have to go back here anyways. Hmm, something's not right. Need to hide, see how things play out. Let's hide right here. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some dwarf! Disgusting Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. I can see ghosts. Um, let me see. Should I just tell them to keep it down? <laughs> let me tell you. Just keep keep it down. Mind keeping it down? Neighbors are complaining. Neighbors, everyone here is dead. It's crazy how I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once. Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery. I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Classic marriage Once, problems. Damn it, and as a jest, how many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lepioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? They're both because crazy. I warned you some five hundred times. Quiet. Shut up, both of you. You tell him, Geralt. <laughs> First of all, the woman's fucking crazy for believing in fucking uh, false idols. That's number one. This man. This man should not be gambling his entire fortune away, but you know. Every, nobody's right. They're both dead, so. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall. I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. I don't give a what? shit about Gwent. I knew it was you. And now. You would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards. That doesn't sound right, man. Come on now. Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Balhaven, I'd mean... still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. Well, it's your fault they for gambling first. You for your in the first place. I had Nobody's in the right in, in this situation, honestly. Come, I heed this good book thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself as soon as you've removed her. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. See, this is what makes Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left. Oh for my me. god. Shut the fuck Heretic, up. Shut your mouth. Shut the I fuck shall up. Speak to you no more. Then shut the fuck up. No, no. It is I who shall oh speak to you no more, you Let me get the hell out of here. 
but <laughs> as I was saying before these noobs keeps arguing and interrupting me as well as this is what makes the witcher such a good game you know there's no right or wrong it's the it's that gray area that they play with you know and it's honestly what it's very relatable to the real world you know this is, you know another good example of that would be um game of thrones and the uh author jrr was it jrr martin anyways the author i re i saw an interview but he basically was like you know he loves playing with that gray area to with different characters and then develop the storylines from there so and the witcher does a great job of doing the exact same thing now i re <laughs> uh, lady i'm sorry but i don't care about gwent like i don't play gwent so it's not it's not really gonna be useful for me and this guy he actually gives you a sword that you can a magic sword that you can sell so it's actually gonna be more <laughs> worth it for me and yeah so sorry lady i'm gonna have to take you no wait if you truly must do this then please at the least deposit me somewhere pleasant all the same to me where do you want to go take me to my mother's grave it's in the old cemetery just outside the city walls a lovely spot almost on the lake shore the flora there it's extraordinary really hmm extraordinary flora where is it exactly beneath the outspread arms of a chestnut the tombstone bears my mother's name micheline belros to think i failed to heed her when she warned me about that lout all right let's get this quest done Somebody's playing piano downstairs, so I'm gonna have to do this fast, <laughs> otherwise. Yeah. Otherwise, you might be just hearing piano noises. From here on out, I'm gonna get this done real quick. Very Place Mongo mentioned. So, where's the grave? Under a chestnut, or so Margot claimed. I think it was this one. Yeah. Micheline Belrose. This is it. Wow, that's done. <laughs> I think one thing they missed is that, you know, Gero doesn't have like a satchel on him, so he'll take out some big ass items from his ass. <laughs> he'll just pull it out from his ass. <laughs> I don't know, where the hell do you keep that kind of stuff? Because I mean, his. On Roach, there's a big ass saddle and right? big ass Stock um, sack. I mean, where the, I mean, Gero doesn't have a backpack, so. <laughs> My bad, woman. Excuse me. All right, let me get that magic sword. That's all I really care about. I mean, hey, you gotta, you gotta get what's right. Remove the urn with Margot's ashes, just like you wanted. Louis, you there? Should have known he'd stand me up. All right, if that's how you want to play it. That's how you want to play it. It's time to go bye bye. Please put me back. Yes, I'm a fraud. I lied to you. I've no notion where the cards are, but but I, I shall think of something. Just wait. Got it. A swordsmith. Trent has the name. I skinned him at Gwent once, but he had no coin, so he promised me the pride of his collection, a lovely blade, finely fashioned. I passed on before I could get it, but you could collect it in my stead. Just tell him Louis de Corentin sent you. The dead Louis de Corentin? Hmm. 
Mm, that could indeed prove problematic. But if... I know. The man's a gambler, inveterate. His wife forced him to seek help, a hypnosis or some such. She believes Trentin no longer touches cards, would wager her virtue on it. Were she to learn he still plays Gwent, well, he'd be in a deep doodle Hmm, thanks. All right, let's go cash in our rewards. Let's go cash these. Uh, what do you call it? Cash, the, cash in these contracts. I was about to say, let me, let me cash these checks. But in this case, it's uh, contracts. What the hell? Wait, am I at the right place? No, I'm not. Those noises again. <coughs> So, cool. Job's done. Hey there, I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clocks has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? If you pick the first option and be truthful, you'll just get what you um, haggled, and but you'll get like a hundred experience. If you pick the second one and lie to him, you'll get a hundred coins, but you'll only get 50 XP or experience. So, um, <laughs> let me tell you something, man. Bear armor costs a lot, but. Still, let's be truthful. Let me just get the EXP instead. Nope, just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like skewered pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here for your trouble. Thanks. All right. So there's that. Let me cash in the other. Let me cash in the other check or reward or contract or whatever you want to say. There's actually. The best steel in all of Tucson. Take a gander. Here to collect Louis de Quarantin's sword. Ha! <laughs> That's rich. De Quarantin's dead. Who are you? His brother? His lover? Louis never mentioned either. Maybe so. But he told me a bit about you. Heard you used to play a little Gwent. Had a habit, in fact, till your wife helped you kick the addiction. Real treasure. Wife like that. Ah! The bumpok! Uh, here I thought I might hang it over the mantle again. Louis blowing reddishes from the underside. But it seems I must. So be it. The sword's yours. But don't leave me high and dry. Give me a chance to win back my dignity at least. Perhaps a round or three for coin? What about the wife? Not afraid she'll... In my home, what I say stands. Women have got no power. Besides which, the wife's away for a few days visiting her sister in Belhaven. So, shall we play? I don't play Gwent, like I said. No thanks. Think I'll pass this time. Bam, what? That knows a no. I'll not insist, nor beg. Your loss. Take care now. 
I think you're gonna take this L a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna make you hold this L even more. Watch this. So this is the sword he just gave me, right? I don't need it, obviously. So let me let me sell it right back to him. Oh, look. <laughs> A witcher graces my. Let me sell this right Shall back to have? you. You wanna make you wanna make your coin back? I don't think so. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna steal your coin. Bam. That's it. Let me repair. Let me repair my shit. And peace. Farewell. <laughs> no. See you later. All right. Let me get out of here. So this, this um, exclamation mark right here. That quest you will see me do in the next episode. He gives that. He gives that uh, bank quest. The called paper chase but I ain't got time for that right now let me just sell off my gear where did the guy go he's downstairs wait where is he oh there he is I was like where did he you go need new bridges? just need to sell my shit Peace. So long. Alright, let me go collect on the uh Let me go collect on this on this sprightly old man. I'm so glad, Alright, I saved I saved in front of his door this time. Let me loot this fool before I talk to him because once you finish talking to him, you can't loot his ass. You gotta loot this man bare. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta take out his candles too. <laughs> what is that? A umbrella? <laughs> I'm like, let me, let me turn off all the lights here. But nah, I want to get some action too, you know? Hey. Come on now. I'm back. Shh, shh. Not so loud. You wake her. She won't never go. Wake who? Rosalinda? Luisa, her cousin. I ain't okay. got no motherfucker. So I fuck your bitch, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> she's, she's voracious. Got an inexhaustible appetite. But I'm tapped out. What's it matter that the spirit is willing when the flesh is simply spent? My heart nearly leapt out of my chest last time. Be careful what you wish for. Here, you must take the testes and let Bioda grant your strength, as I dare say you will need it. You see that? I thought it was gonna be real <laughs> trees and tree and bush, but it's turns out just to be a leaf man come on now i thought witcher was uh rated rated r <laughs> yeah i thought the witcher was supposed to be 18 plus what happened i want to see some real <laughs> real shaft and balls so foo well have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiotus luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Charges to stroke that thing? Anyways. Um, now, so the thing is, you got this little Reginald figurine, which you can actually put up at the front of your house. Um, I don't think I showed that in my MTV Cribs video, but, um, it, this you can put right in front of the cellar, 
you know that little hole that goes down to the cellar you can put that right beside the opening to it so there's that um, but as far as this video goes this is it for this video so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode peace